I mean, there, things get so bad about my identity for a while, I don't know whether I should say this in the light of today, but actually for a while I, I actually wanted to be a Protestant. <laughs> I know, that's how bad it was. Not for any theological reason, just because uh, I was sent to the School of Music when I was 11 in Belfast, and uh, it was a very sad indictment of our society. It's the first time I had ever met any Protestants. And uh, I arrived in the class and all the other girls were wearing, uh, they were from state schools and they were all wearing very short skirts and they all had brown legs. So I wanted to be like that, you know. I thought, I didn't realise they'd been on holiday and got a tan. I just thought all Protestant girls had brown legs. <laughs> but they were born that way, you know, like it was God's compensation for putting their eyes so close together. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, uh, you know, there is that ad, the Honda ad used to say you've got to hate it to change it or something like that. And I think there is a certain amount, I know we're united against hate, but we are probably pro uh, being tolerant of hatred, which uh, you, you do have to get angry. And, uh, yeah. and now here on the 15th of February we're here to endorse Unite Against Hate, the newest initiative, which is the huge billboard campaign which looks to address under-reporting of hate crime and also to present Unite Against Hate recognition trophies this afternoon to our supporters. Uh, the campaign wouldn't have happened without the ongoing help and collaboration of lots of individuals and organisations, as well as the campaign's partners who include the Office of First Minister and Deputy First Minister, thank you, the Department of Justice, the PSNI, the Equality Commission for Northern Ireland and the Community Relations Council. <coughs> 